Hey guys, Greenberg Gaming here. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different commentary, a little bit more of a ranty, ravey, philosophical commentary. But there is one question I want to try and answer in this video, and that is, should vaccines be mandatory? To add some context to the situation, recently measles broke out in Disneyland, California. It was believed that a man was traveling to the United States, and he had measles, he spread the measles, and so far there's been 141 confirmed cases of measles in 17 states and Washington DC including Arizona, California, Colorado, Delaware, Illinois, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Jersey, New York, Nevada, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, Texas, Utah, and Washington. And a little bit of information from the CDC, um, the majority of people who got measles were unvaccinated. Measles is still common in many parts of the world, including some countries in Europe, Asia, the Pacific, and Africa. And travelers with measles continue to bring the disease into the U.S., and it can spread when it reaches a community of unvaccinated people. So, by that logic, I don't believe in socialism, but I do believe in mandatory vaccines because I do believe in common sense. I mean, by not vaccinating you or your kids, you not only put yourself at risk, but you put other people at risk, and I feel like that's a very selfish thing to do. So I believe that vaccines should be mandatory. I mean, right now for most public schools, you do have to do them, but it is very easy to get either a philosophical or a religious exemption and not have to get the vaccines. And the problem with not getting vaccines is that even if you do have the vaccine, you're not 100% guaranteed not to get the disease in question. Right now it's measles. But the problem is is that the more unvaccinated people there are, the more chances that they're going to get the disease, and then the chance becomes higher that they're going to spread the disease to people even who have the vaccine. Because like I said before, it's not 100% guaranteed that you're going to be able to uh, stop the disease. So I believe that we should start making uh, vaccines more mandatory with making it more and more difficult to get the exemptions. I know that some states have been working on laws to make the exemptions more difficult to get, like California, for instance. But I think it's, it's extremely important that we get on that. And one of the big arguments why people don't like vaccines is that there have been side effects. There was a big study that went out pretty long ago that said that the MMR vaccine, um, which is the, the vaccine that deals with measles, spreads autism in young kids. So it kind of said the idea to parents, you know, well, we don't want to get the vaccine because we don't want our kids to get autism or any of these other side effects. And the, the problem with that is it's not true. Um, it's been pretty unanimously decided that the MMR vaccine really doesn't spread autism. And it could be that it could have been a later onset of autism that might not have been so extreme, it might not have been noticed, and it might just have come to fruition after having gotten that shot. I mean, personally for me, if you told me that you got a cold after you got the flu shot, I would say, yeah, that's pretty believable. I mean, it's happened to me before. What a vaccine is, it's either a dead or extremely, extremely weakened version of the virus so that your body introduces antibodies to fight off that disease. And if it was a little bit too much of the live disease in that vaccine, it is possible that you would get a little sick from it. So that would be believable that you got a cold from a flu shot. But if you told me that you got autism from an MMR vaccine, it'd be a little bit more difficult for me to believe because the two aren't really that uh, coincided. Um, but it's pretty easy to go into Excel and create correlation. Um, and my point being that correlation doesn't equal causation. I mean, anyone can go into Excel, and even if you get a weak relationship, you can... It is a relationship. That does mean that the two things coincide. But, like I said, it's very easy to take two unrelated things in Excel or a program like that and create a relationship even though the two things might not directly cause each other. So, for example, you might say that eating more apples um, directly causes you to lose weight, and you could very easily go into Excel and 
make a chart showing this, but that might not account for the fact that I stopped eating Cheetos and stopped drinking soda. I started walking two miles a day and I started um, going to the gym five times a week. It doesn't necessarily encompass the whole thing. It only tells one part of the story. Yeah, maybe the apples did cause me to lose weight a little bit, but it wasn't entirely the apple that made me lose weight. So that was my main part of it. And another one of my problems with uh, parents who say that measles vaccines aren't good is that these are some of the same parents who are bringing their kids to these measles parties which have started. And basically what that is is parents expose their kids to other kids who have measles instead of giving their kid the vaccine. And my problem with that being is the vaccine, like I said before, is either a dead or a very, very weakened state of the virus. And when you take your kid to a measles party, quote unquote, there's with this kid who has the virus, you're exposing your kid directly to the virus. You're not exposing your kid to an extremely weakened state or a dead state of it. You're getting the whole blunt of the, of the virus. So I don't understand why some of these parents um, do this, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But I know the vast majority of people aren't anti-vaxxers who are people who are outspoken against vaccines. And a lot of it are just parents who don't want to get their kids vaccinated for whatever reason. Either they want to spread it out over a longer period of time, or they have some of these religious or philosophical exemptions. So not everyone is these anti-vaxxers who are these very group, vocal group of people who are very outspoken against um, the virus, uh, not against the virus, the vaccine. So it's something to keep in mind, but I think the government needs to try and not socialize vaccines, but make it so that it's more difficult to get out of getting the vaccine. Because like I said before, I don't support socialism but I do believe in common sense, and common sense says, you know, you got to get the vaccine. So that's how we got rid of a lot of these major viruses in the U.S. So when people don't have the vaccine, the, the virus can come back and even start to infect people who are vaccinated. So I hope that any parents who are watching this video do, especially if you're in the California area where these measles are starting to break out, get your kids vaccinated. Um, that's the end of this more philosophical commentary. If you like this more ranty, ravey style commentary, leave a like on this video. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know that you like this commentary. Um, if you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.